Hi guys, in this video lecture, I am going to discuss what how to load multiple plant files into target in Informatica Power Center. So this is the video lecture 65 of this Informatica class series. So let's see how to load multiple flat files. So going inside the flat files directory and then after let's uh, uh, create there, this text document and here inside there going to include some file names. So first here emp dot csv file that's one load the records then after let's so use the file file dot csv and the next is going to include the sample dot or date extension is there and let's include the file to dot csv so this four files data that's load you wanna load into the target table. So let's click on this save. So go on this file and here click on save as. So we need to give the file extension emp.lst. So creating the file emp.lst. So let's click on this save. So here you can see. Let's delete this new text document here. You can see one file that's created with the name emp.lst. So this content is there, CSV, 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 and four files there. So four files or uh, data that's going to load into the target by using the Informatica Power Center. So let's go there and opening the mapping designer. And first, uh, so let's go there, source flat file. So going to use so uh, this place or not to uh, this one. Let's use here DW tail and this here flat file. So this uh, or directory that's going to use DW tail. After that, this mapping design is there. So let's click on this M mapping, create mapping. M underscore multiple flat files underscore load. So name should be meaningful. And after that, this EMP or uh, file, flat file is there. So this is going to load into the target. And then after, let's right click preview data. So I want to display the record inside this EMP. So let's go on this so all files and here this EMP. CSV that's selected there. And now let's click on this open. So here you can see this is the EMP or uh, records inside there. The next is let's take there one target. So going to use your dummy file. So you can give any and here this all columns that's present there. So let's select this all and drag it there. So here you can see our uh, current. Uh, so there is a uh, one important column is there. If I go on this port, so currently processed file name. So with the help of this, we can easily analyze the file type. Okay, so about this one that I already discussed in my last video. So Informatica 63 lecture you should fast there. And after that, let's uh, save that. So mapping is valid. Now let's go on this workflow manager. So workflow manager. And uh, let's take there one session. And our mapping is multiple flat files load. The next is double click there. Here, go to mapping source EMP that's going to select and here first we need to change the change so uh, direct to indirect because four files that's going to load into the target or uh, target uh, indirectly and here source file directly we need to keep so this is the location of EMP LST file is there so let's copy this location and now pasting there and the next is we need to change your source file name so in place of CSV going to give LST. Now, all this source part that has done, then after the next is going to create our new files inside the desktop. So let's give the our desktop location. And if you want, then you can change the file names. After that, let's take the one link task and stabilize the link between these two. And now let's right click and start the task. So when you click on this start task, this succeeded. And here you can see uh, 39 records that's going from the 
EMP and in the target 39 records that's loaded there. So four files record that's loaded into the target file. So here, this is a desktop file that's created there. So here you can see this file is coming from or EMP CSV and the next file that's here file 5 CSV data that's loaded there. So this file 5 and if you scroll down here you can see or uh, next uh, that's loaded there or uh, sample.date file and in last file 2 CSV file that's loaded there. So four files record that's loaded into the target. The same thing you can do there or uh, with uh, or relational table also. So let's take the relational table dummy. And since so uh, here are uh, going to select this columns. And now save that and here refresh. Save. Thereafter, let's go on this mapping. And here we need to change. Let's change the normal. And if uh, any previous record is there, so this will truncate first and load the new record there. Now save that and now click on this as start task. So start task, this running and succeeded. 39 record that's loaded there. So here, let's so check the record inside this. So this come from HR. And now HR. Here you can see this here. So this record that's loading there. So this is so AMP record, this here, file 5 records, and the same record that's displaying into the or table. So this here file to records. So important thing is that uh, to create here, to load multiple files, you need to create there one new files and there you need to give the file name. After that, take any uh, file from a uh, file there, then after stabilize the link with the target. And important thing, you need to change this place in this flat file. So here you need to give the LST file location not the real file location and change that direct to indirect. So this is the file and here give your LST. After that, you can load multiple files to the target. So I hope guys, this video is the helpful for you. So now in this video, it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.